Look, look. Hi guys, today we're going to be finally casting um, our first casting in the Vampire Skull Mold. And uh, we're going to be using a method of casting known as slush casting. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to mix up a little bit of plaster and uh, pour it into the mold and rotate the mold around until it builds up kind of a thin shell around the outside. And uh, we're going to do that two or three times until it gets built up to a thickness that you know is going to be strong enough and uh, then we'll demold it and see how it turned out so let's get started now I have my silicone caulking mold uh, which is supported by the plaster shell I have it sitting on some uh, clay that I use for the dividing wall just to hold it upright this is the bottom of the mold and I have it kind of slanted back at an angle and we're going to pour the plaster right in there and uh, hopefully that will minimize some of the uh, agitation and that way we won't have as many bubbles. So I've got my plaster mixed up here and uh, we're actually just going to pound on the table a little bit here and kind of agitate this and try to get all the bubbles out of it because at this point bubbles are a very bad thing. And to aid in the uh, war against bubbles, I have this very cool stuff uh, called Arid. And uh, I got this from Hobby Lobby, but uh, it's by the Deep Flex Plastic Molds Company. And uh, it is supposed to make every plastic casting free of bubbles and glossy smooth. The stuff actually does work pretty good. I have noticed a difference um, between molds that I've used it in and molds that I've not used it in. So we're going to go ahead and spray a little bit of this into our mold. All right, so let's start pouring this plaster in. All right, and now this is where the slush part of the slush casting comes in. We're just going to take this mold and rotate it around and you can see inside um, as it rotates around it's leaving a thin film of plaster and the teeth area is the part that we need to be most concerned with since that is uh, an area where bubbles are prone to form. So this is what the inside of the mold looks like after um, one rotation, one uh, casting. We will do um, probably two more rotations like that. On the last one, we'll put in the plug. Um, that goes in here uh, where the key is and just sits right in there. So we'll fill this up with wet plaster, pop this in, rotate it um, upside down to where this is sitting on the bottom and uh, that way the, this hole right here will be filled and uh, it should be a seamless casting. So the second batch of plaster is going to kick a lot faster uh, or cure a lot faster than the first batch uh, when it comes into contact with the plaster that's already in there. So you have a little less time to work than last time. All right, so one more time with the plaster. So at this point, you really want to work fast 
I'm going to make sure that this doesn't kick. Uh, yeah, before you have a chance to actually get it to turn upside down. All right, and so we are putting the plug in, and I'm actually going to take a paper towel and flip over this, and we're going to rotate it all the way up and just kind of slosh it back and forth a little bit. Make sure that we have good coating at the bottom over all the areas of the bottom. that down and come back and check on this in the morning. Well, the moment of truth has arrived. It's now time to see if all the work that we've done on this whole process has paid off and we have a completed vampire skull. So I haven't even opened this or uh, you know, peeked inside or anything. So. This is going to be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. Alright. So there it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It was awesome. I was really afraid that those teeth weren't going to come out right. Yeah, it's looking looking really good. We have a little bit of flashing around the bottom right here. And like we saw earlier, we have a seam. A little bit of a seam right here where the edges of the mold didn't quite align. And uh, I'll have to look in to see why that's happening. That should not be happening, but it's not the end of the world. So the last step that I'm going to do before I set this aside to cure is just drill this out. Got a hole in the bottom now, and uh, turned out pretty good. The Vampire Skull Reunion. Subscriber shout outs go out to Color of Green and Six Nick de Six Emus Six. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. It looks pretty cool. I think it's more of a visual username than an auditory one. But uh, yeah, cool. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, so this week's vlog is going to be a little bit short shorter than last week's vlog and uh, that's because I'm going to uh, make another video for working on the dragon head and so in this vlog we finished up the vampire skull as you can see over there and uh, I'm actually breaking out all the content that I have for working on the dragon head into a separate video uh, and posting that as a video response to uh, Dragon Wick 121's uh, challenge video. So um, there will be another 
video coming out shortly after this one is up um, with the details on the dragon head. So, uh, for those of you wondering about sculpting, uh, there is going to be a fair bit of that. Um, this week I built the armature and uh, started rough, rough sculpting. Uh, next week's vlog or uh, challenge video will have a lot more detail uh, as far as that goes. Man, I really need a haircut. Like, seriously bad. Got a regular Bob Ross fro going on over here. Do you guys remember Bob Ross? Anybody watch that? That was cool. I like Bob Ross. He was the man. So I've come to a realization, and that is uh, Mondays as the day that the vlog comes out isn't really working. Uh, so far it's ended up being Tuesdays. And the reason for that is uh, I use the weekends to work down here in the shop and uh, actually get stuff done. And I'm always working, you know, up into the night and I never leave myself enough time to actually edit before I have to go to work on Monday morning. So what ends up happening is I end up having to edit after I get home from work on Monday, it ends up being Tuesday before it comes out. So I think I'm just going to start shooting for Tuesday now. Tuesday is the new Monday.